Hello, welcome In the name of the Lord I said hello Welcome, we're here to praise the Lord Hello, welcome In the name of the Lord I said hello Welcome, we're here to praise the Lord We really missed you, what's been happening? Good to see you, we really can We have a Father, gonna bless us all Now we're here to praise His name Now we're here to praise His name Hello, welcome In the name of the Lord I said hello Welcome, we're here to praise the Lord Hello, welcome In the name of the Lord I said hello My name is Judith and I am one of the Kids Quest teachers at Scrabble. Really sorry that we're not able to join um, to meet in the hall at the moment. Hopefully we will do that really soon. Today's story is Samuel and Saul. This week's story is Saul Becomes King. We find this in 1 Samuel chapter 7 verse 15. When Samuel was old, the people of Israel complained. They did not want either of his two sons, Joel or Abijah, to lead them as a judge. Instead, they demanded they had a king. God told Samuel a king would exploit and mistreat them. But when Samuel reported this to the people, they said, we don't care. We want a king like all the other countries around us. So God decided to give them what they wanted and told Samuel to pick a king for them. God told Samuel to prepare a feast and invite the top 30 officials in Israel. He also told Samuel to save the best piece of meat for the king. A few miles away there was a rich man named Kish who had a very tall and handsome son called Saul. Kish asked Saul to go and search the hill country to find some donkeys that had gone missing. Saul and his servant searched everywhere but could not find the donkeys. The servant then suggested they headed for a nearby town where Samuel lived as maybe he could direct them to the donkeys. When they arrived at the gate, Samuel was waiting. Come with me and don't worry about the donkeys. They have been found. Samuel led Saul to the head of the table at the banquet and brought out the best piece of meat for him. Saul was very confused. He just wanted to find his donkeys and now he was a guest of honour at some feast. The next morning, Samuel sent his servant on his way and brought Saul to the edge of the town. Then Samuel took out a flask of oil and poured it over Saul's head. I have received a special message for you from God. He has appointed you as leader over the people of Israel. Return in a week's time for the big announcement. When the time came to announce Saul as the new king, he was nowhere to be found. 
God told Samuel where to find Saul, and he brought him out and said, This is Saul, son of Kish. God has chosen him as your king. The people shouted, Long live the king! Samuel stood next to Saul and read all the duties the king from a long scroll. Saul went home. He was still not too sure about the leading of the nation and went back to working in his fields. About a month later, the king of Amnon led his army against the Israelite city of Jabesh Gilead. He threatened to take them as his servants. When the news reached Saul's hometown, Saul asked, Why is everyone crying? When the messenger from Jabesh Shaled filled Saul in on all the details, the Holy Spirit came down upon the new king and at once he knew what to do. Saul went around Israel and gathered 330,000 men. They launched a surprise attack on the Ammonites and defeated them. Everyone hailed Saul as their king and they held a ceremony to crown him. Samuel then made his final speech as judge over Israel. My work as judge is done, but I will never stop praying for you, teaching you or giving you godly advice. I will continue as God's prophet, even though you rejected God as your king. Remember to look to the Lord for your help and remember all the wonderful things he has done for you. Hi everybody, my name is Honor. Today we'll be practicing this week's memory verse. For God to love the world, he gave his one and only Son. Whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. John 3 16. Can you say it with me? For God to love the world, he gave his one and only Son. Whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. John 3 16. Hope you enjoyed the story this week and please keep practicing your memory verse. Uh, just before we go, I would like to pray with you. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the story of Samuel and Saul. Thank you that you know what is best for us. Please look after us this week when we are at school and nursery. Amen. Hope you have a really good week this week and hopefully see you soon.